Philip, how is the United States justifying this pullout? It's not very concrete uh, from the U.S. side. Very few details from the White House, from the Defense Department, and indeed from the State Department. The uh, same story, really, from all sides here in Washington. Here is what we have right now. The United States is simply saying that there is an increased threat from Iran and its proxies against Americans and against American interests in the region. And that is pretty much it. We have had no more concrete information from the U.S. side so far, meaning that its allies also have their very own doubts. They are not getting more information either, and members of Congress up on Capitol Hill are without that information at the same time, too. Now, the United States, though, of course, has reacted to what it calls those imminent threats against its interests by sending an aircraft carrier, for example, B-52 bombers also into the Persian Gulf. But when you listen to one senior official from the British military, who's a member of the U.S.-led coalition in Iraq and in Syria against the Islamic State group, well, he says there is no increased threat. He was quickly corrected, though, by the U.S. military, by the Pentagon. But still, we are without any concrete information from the United States as to what that increased threat from Iran and its proxies might be. Now, Philip, the latest move from Washington t today comes a day after the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said the U United States doesn't want war with Iran. And we also had Iran's highest, uh, Iran's supreme leader essentially saying neither side is seeking war. So, but then we have this. Yeah, it's six of one and a half a dozen of the other, really, as the expression goes. Uh, of course, it's important to listen to the supreme leader of Iran at this moment. He does say that Iran is not seeking war, but at the same time, he says that, or he threatens, rather, that Ir Iran might enrich uranium to weapons-grade levels. Now, there's one threat from Iran on one side, then on the other side, that promise, if you will, uh, that Iran is not seeking war on the other side. Now, from the United States, you're hearing something very similar, as you just mentioned. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who's one of the few who's been speaking out about this supposed threat from Iran, says the United States is fundamentally not seeking a war with Iran either. Now, when it comes to the U.S. president, though, we have heard from him. He yesterday denied a report in The New York Times that the United States is considering sending 120,000 U.S. troops to the Middle East in case of an attack from Iran. He said that was fake news, but at the same time said he would do something like that and would, to quote the U.S. president, send a hell of a lot more uh, military into the region if that was to be the case. Uh, so very, very different messages from within the administration, others coming from Iran. We're really not very clear right now. We're not seeing clearly as to what this threat might be and what exactly the United States is planning here. Okay, Philip, thank you very much for the update. Philip Crather reporting there for us from Washington. Now, we'll leave